Okay, now let's do something a little bit different. Um, now let's actually do an experiment okay, with this. So it says, a 20 gram piece of aluminum at zero degrees Celsius is dropped into a beaker of water. The temperature of the water drops from 90 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius. What quantity of heat energy did the piece of aluminum absorb? Now, I like pictures. So let's draw a picture. I have a beaker of water. Okay, Into this beaker of water, I am placing aluminum. How much aluminum? 20 grams. Okay, that 20 gram that aluminum is at zero degrees Celsius. Okay, the temperature. Oh, we have to have a thermometer. It's my little thermometer. Okay, the temperature of my water will go from 90 degrees Celsius down to 75 degrees Celsius. Okay, so where's the heat going? Well, the heat is going in to my aluminum. Okay? And I can tell that because the temperature of the water is dropping. Okay? So it was 90, it is dropping down to 75, so it is losing heat and all that heat is going into the aluminum. So my aluminum is en excuse me, my aluminum is endothermic. My water is exo exothermic. So now let's do actually do the calculation. Start by writing down your formula. Okay, so Q equals MC delta C. Now, what do I have information about? I have information about the aluminum. I have information about the water, but I have more information about. Um, no, I'm sorry. I have information about both, but there's a piece of information I'm missing, which is really important, and that is I don't know how much water I have. My mass is unclear about the water. But I do know something very important, and I know that when everything stops changing in temperature, the temperature of the water and the temperature of the aluminum will be the same. Okay, So my T final for both of them are equal. So since I know all of that, I can calculate my information. I know that the mass of the aluminum is 20, degrees, uh, is 20 grams. It says my aluminum has an, a specific heat of 0 0.902. Now, because the final temperature of the water and the final temperature of the aluminum are the same, it's 75 minus the initial temperature of the water is zero. Okay. The reason, again, that I'm doing this is I am missing this piece of information about the water. I don't have the mass of the water. And because of that, I cannot calculate anything on water. So now, pull out the calculator. And I say, okay, 20 times times 0 0.902 times 75 equals 1353. And that's my answer. And so how much heat did the, the aluminum absorb? The aluminum absorbed 1,353 joules. If you write in the correct number of sig figs, it would be 13 50 joules. Okay? Let's see another one. Okay, it says, same kind of problem. I'm taking a piece of gold. Mass of gold is 182 grams at some temperature. Is added to 22.1 degrees, uh, I'm sorry, 22.1 grams of water at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. The final temperature of the resulting mixture is 27.5 degrees Celsius. If the specific heat of gold is 0.129, what was the initial temperature of the gold sample? So, Again, I'm going to make myself a little drawing. You do not need the drawing if you don't want it. Uh, let's make my gold look like a gold brick. A U. Woo! Okay, so I have my thermometer in my water. And the temperature of my water is going from 25 up to 27.5. So my water gained heat, which means the heat came out of my aluminum, uh, my gold and went into the water. Okay. Now this time I know that the mass of my water is 22.1 grams and the mass of my gold is 182 grams. Okay. Now they want to know what the initial temperature of the gold was. Well here's what I know. The water gained heat so the gold must have been hotter than the water. Okay. But how much? 
I have no clue. So I'm going to actually have to do two calculations here. I'm going to show you a little trick. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the water. And I'm going to calculate the heat of the water for this reason. I know everything about the water. I know its mass is 22.1. I know its specific heat is 4.184. And I know its change in temperature is 27.5. Okay. I don't have all that information for the gold. I have its mass, I have its specific heat, but I don't have its change because I don't know what it started at. So let me find the, the heat gained by the water. Twenty two point one times four point one eight four times twenty seven point five minus twenty five. Final minus initial. Oops. is 231.166 joules. Now, here's something that's very important. All of the heat that went out of the gold went in to the water. Okay? So, the heat exited the gold, which means the gold lost heat, which means the gold should be negative. The water gained the heat, so it's going to be positive. Okay? So they're exactly opposites to each other. Okay? Let me say that again. So I know that the gold lost heat. If it lost heat, its heat will be negative because it's change in heat, it goes down. The water went up in heat, so its heat is positive. And that's evidenced by the fact that the temperature of the water rose. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this heat that was gained by the water, flip its sign, and set it equal to all the information for the gold. Its mass of gold was 182. Its specific heat is 0.129. And I'm going to solve for delta T. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this by, by negative 1. And then I'm going to divide it by the product of 182 times 0.129. And that's negative 9.85. Which makes sense because the temperature of the gold must have gone down. Okay, the temperature of the gold must have gone down because it lost heat. So that's its change. Now, I know that delta T is equal to T final minus T initial. My delta T is negative 9.85. My final was 27.5. And now I just have to solve for T initial. And I say, OK, 27.5 plus 9.85, and the answer is 37.35. So my initial temperature is 37.35 degrees Celsius. Okay, so again, this fact is key. Whenever you have a heat transfer process, one thing is going to be endothermic and one thing is going to be exothermic, which means their heats are opposite in sign but equal in value. So notice the 231.166 231 is the same number, it just switched sign.